Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm using the LSP Background Blur Photoshop Action Set for Creative Cloud. You can use this action set on older versions of Photoshop but you won't be able to use the guided walkthrough that I'm using now because this uses certain features of Creative Cloud like the automatic select subject feature. But you can use the Background Blur Simple Action on older versions of Photoshop. This is a guided action, meaning these boxes will pop up with instructions as you go. So is the selection completely covering your subject? Yes, press continue to carry on and no, press stop. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to hit continue. If for some reason there was a piece missing, like her arm or something here wasn't painted red, you can hit no and carry on painting that and then just hit play on the action to continue. This action it done takes a little while to play out now because it is a rather big action and take around 30 seconds to play. Perhaps a little longer or a little less depending on how fast your computer is. The next step of the action comes up is a white brush to paint your blur on and it will not go over your subject. So I'm going to make this brush quite big and you'll notice you have quite a few blur layers here. They start from um, a touch of blur, light blur, all the way up to heavy painterly blur. So I'm going to go for a light blur first just for this area here. And in front too. And then I'm going to add perhaps a heavier blur coming in with this area. And then a very heavy blur for the background here. But you will notice the subject is not blurred. I'm going to zoom in here because these areas were not selected for the blur. So I'm going to click on the subject layer. And with a very small black brush, I'm going to paint the sharpness off the subject to reveal the blur behind. And you can do this with any areas that look a little bit um, harsh or standing out a little bit too much. This image is by Anna Brandt and I'm really thankful that I'm allowed to use this. And when you're happy, hit the next step of the action. This will open up Select and Mask for you with some instructions and you'll basically be able to see anywhere that you haven't blurred. Zoom in close to your subject's hair and select the refine edge brush which is this second one down here and use this to just really lightly sweep over kind of anywhere of the hair and this will pick out a few hair edges. You can use the normal um, quick selection brush here to kind of go around your subject and refine this selection even more by holding down ALT or by holding it down normally. If you're not used to using the Select and Mask tool you can of course use your normal way of selecting things too. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that show you kind of exactly how to do this as well. I'm just coming around the foliage a little bit as well just to kind of tailor that selection in a little bit better. This is all optional, but um, it's something I prefer to do because it really creates a much crisper um, selection. So the action is finishing playing out now, so it's going to set up just a couple of extra actions to finish with, a couple of extra layers, sorry. Well, you have darken, lighten and matte. So I'm going to use the darken paint here, just to slightly darken the area behind the subject, and this will help the subject pop. You can, of course, lighten areas too if you wanted to. And you can apply a matte effect. These actions are non-destructive. You can get your original back by switching them on and off until you decide to take a snapshot and flatten. All save. You can come back to your snapshots here and see before and after. And that's using the NSP background blur for Creative Cloud available at www.lsp-actions.com